good after me here with tech out and today we're going to be taking a look at the first custom rom on the pixel 9 pro xl and this is cr droid um i think it's still technically in beta if we hop into um the system uh information here and we go to software updates um, you can see it as CR Droid 11 beta. Um, so I think they are still considering this a beta for the Pixel 9 Pro XL. Uh, but I just installed this a couple days ago. It is based on just your regular stock um, Android. You know, the Pixel theming kind of is still there. Um, there's nothing over the top in terms of uh, the UI just in general. But you do get this extra settings section up here, the CR Droid settings, where you can change stuff on the status bar. You know, you can choose which locks, uh, status bar icons appear. Um, you can customize, you know, the 4G icon, all that, you know, little stuff up in your status bar like that. Uh, you can customize the quick settings up here and do uh, a bunch of different stuff with the quick settings pull down, um, which I pretty much left uh, the same uh, just because I don't, you know, I like how that uh, Android 15 style is. Uh, lock screen, you can destroy, uh, display your carrier name or not. You can turn that on or off. You can change your clock font style, your battery info, weather settings, weather update, um, which I had turned off on accident. Let's see, turn that back on. Um, you can do stuff with the navigation bar. I actually have the dock enabled, which is a feature of CR Droid where you can use the dock on a regular candy bar style phone. Um, so you have access to what is in your dock down here on the home screen when you're in another app. You can also tap, it's very sensitive to, it's just kind of a, Kind of a half flick up there and then you can uh, view your app drawer as well um, if you want to switch apps or open something in split screen it's very easy to do that with the dock down there uh, you can also customize actions for um, presses on the buttons if you have the three gesture uh, navigation enabled you can go over here to buttons and you can customize what all this kind of stuff does you can customize your power menu um, so like if you want to turn on airplane mode i'll turn on some of these and show you guys what it looks like um, which i don't have it set to the home key so we have to have to go down here uh, to your power menu you can see you can go to home controls or uh, device controls which will take you to um, nothing apparently uh, but you can choose like screenshot airplane mode uh, restart when you do the restart it gives you the menu whether you just want to restart the system UI whether you want to restart into recovery the bootloader or just restart the system uh, so you can do that you can lock down your phone uh, which makes it so you have to enter a passcode uh, and stuff like that. Oh, I didn't finish setting it up, that's why. Let's try it now. Home controls. Home controls. Did it, I think it opened right there, because that wasn't open before, so we'll click that and we'll swipe. Yeah, so it does open there, it just doesn't get rid of the, uh, the power menu. Uh, I don't need that on, so we're gonna turn that off. Um, and we'll leave all these other ones on. So there's your power menu. Uh, you can choose you know, your wake device by pressing um, the volume button, stuff like that, answer call, uh, all that kind of stuff for your volume buttons. You can change your user interface. As you can see, I have a little Android icon up here next to the clock. Uh, you can customize that icon. I believe that is, uh, it might not be on this screen. I don't remember where I saw that setting, but sound information, miscellaneous settings right here. Uh, you can spoof Netflix um, for your device model, so you get different options for that. Um, you can spoof your uh, device for Pixel XL, which had the unlimited Google storage, so it's supposed to give you unlimited Google storage. I don't know if that works or not. I have two terabytes of Google Cloud storage, so I don't really, I never really paid attention to that. Um, let's see, status bar. I want to say our custom icon is in here. Yep, logo style right here. So you can do a bunch of different Android, a bunch of different uh, icons here: Windows, Xbox, ROG, Apple, Batman, all a bunch of different stuff here. You can choose whether it's on the left and right, stuff like that. Battery percentage. Uh, speaking of battery, if we go into battery down here, uh, it gives you a whole bunch of information on the battery. Obviously, your percentage, but it also gives you the um, the remaining uh, battery in milliamp hours. If we hop down here to battery information, it gives you a little bit more information than the stock Pixel does. Battery health, battery temperature, battery voltage, your design capacity, uh, 5,035 milliamp hours, and then the uh, maximum capacity is 5,012, so it is down a little bit. Um, but that does change. I have seen that go back up, so um, just maybe depending on like temperature and stuff like that, battery state of charge, um, that may change because you can see it's showing mine is 99% with only six cycles on it. Um, so that does change and it is, it's not like Apple where once it drops, it drops. It does go back up time to time. 
Um, you can view battery usage stats in milliamp hours right here, as well as your regular battery usage, like screen on time and that kind of stuff right there. Um, so all that stuff, pretty cool. Like I said, you do have that um, dock down there and everything else that you can customize in here in this system. So like I said, it's still technically in beta. Um, they do weekly updates. So I will uh, update you guys if anything major changes on this, but this is the first uh, ROM that I have found available for the Google Pixel 9 XL. Uh, it also works with the Google Pixel 9 Pro. Um, so both of those devices, and I'm sure there's one available for the regular 9 as well. Very, very cool. I'm um, glad we have an, a ROM out already for this device as it adds a bunch of different customization options and stuff like that while retaining the look and feel of your stock Pixel, um, which I do tend to like. So that is CR Droid for the Google Pixel 9 X, Google Pixel 9 Pro XL, excuse me. And uh, like I said, I will keep you guys updated, updated on this ROM as uh, updates progress. I'm Colin Lotagout. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Have a great day.